Hi everyone, Andre from Chrome FX Films here, and I haven't seen too many up-to-date and very recent Android tutorials for Unity 3D, so I wanted to do that in this video and sort of give you guys a walkthrough of how to set up an Android game uh, in Unity 3D and all the way through the Google Play um, the Google console uploading dashboard and all of that. So I'm going to try and walk you guys through the entire process. I'm in the editor. I'm in Unity 5. I believe this is Unity 5.6.1 F1. That's the current version I'm using. And honestly, I think everything past Unity 4.8 or something like that uses the new uh, the new services system that they have here. I'm, I might be incorrect on that, but if you're using um, Unity 5, you're fine. Um, so I already have my organization there, but we're not going to get into services yet, but that's how you know you're using a, a, the, the next evolution of the uh, Android tools provided in Unity. So let's just really quickly here make a, a simple scene. I'm going to make a little text in my scene, just, just a little demo. And I'm going to make this say test app. Cool. We're going to set this to the center of the screen. Cool, let's save it, test scene. And now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that whenever you're building for an app in an Android device, you wanna make sure that you have all the proper Android tools installed. And depending on what phone you're using, you're gonna need a different version of the Android Studio, or I mean the, um, the drivers for the individual devices. And you'll get that when you download the Android Studio, which I'll show you how to do. Uh, but you want to make sure that you go into preferences and just check, go to external tools. And this is where you're going to actually be finding the SDK and the JDK, which is the Java development kit and then the Android development kit, which we'll get to. First thing, go to build settings and make sure you change your platform to say uh, Android. And then we're going to switch platform here and let it go. And it's already done. We're going to add the scene so it has something to build. And now we're going to go to player settings. And here is where you have to do most of the preparation for building your game. So up here, package name, you want to make sure you have this specific format. You have com.company. I'm just going to call this um, Andre. And then product name is test app. Uh, bundle version codes one. Minimum API level. Honestly, this doesn't really make a difference unless you're using some external tools or, or third-party tools in your app uh, but you know really you could do any of these so I'm just gonna say 5.0 lollipop and all this is okay and we're gonna close that so company name Andre Andrew tutorials product name cool so what we want to do now is make sure that you have Android Studio installed this is developer.android.com and I'm gonna have this link in the description but this is basically where you uh, download the Android Studio, which allows you to, to download all the proper drivers to uh, for your phone so your computer can actually detect it and Unity can detect it. So you're going to go here and download Android Studio, and you're going to say, I have read terms and conditions, download Android Studio, and then you're just going to download this, run it, and install it, go through the standard install of Android Studio. Actually, it takes you to a page of how to install it, which is perfect. Let's see actually what this video does. Yeah, so it guides you all the way through. You're going to get this this uh, this window here, the Android Setup Wizard. It's going to unzip it, and then eventually you're going to get into um, this Android Studio. I'm loading up Android Studio on my computer since I already have it installed, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And depending on when you're watching this video, Android Studio will be in, in a different version than the one that I have installed. But this is perfect. So this is what it looks like. Let's go to configure and then SDK manager is what we're looking for. Now this is where you can actually install all the different versions of the uh, Android API and my phone, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S7 which uses uh, I believe 7.0 so that's why I have that one installed and you can see that when I installed it, I installed it in C users Android app data and then it's Android SDK. And that's important because in Unity, you want to go to your your uh, preferences, and then you're going to make sure that you have that set up here. And that way, when you're building the game, 
it will be able to find it and be able to um, build it to the proper version that will work on your phone. And if you have your phone plugged in with just a, a USB uh, device, standard USB device, you want to go into your, your phone and then make sure developer options are enabled. And each phone has a different way of enabling developer options. So make sure that you Google that and find your specific phone model and figure out how to enable developer options. Usually it just involves you tapping the build number five times or something like that. And uh, just make sure you have that enabled before you start building. Otherwise the computer will not see your phone. Now the Java development kit is very similar to the Android uh, download. It's basically the same uh, process. And here you're just going to look for the one that matches your operating system. Say you agree. And in this case, I'm using uh, Windows 64 bit. So I'd probably just download this one since this is the latest version, 8U144. And then just download that version and then save it to your computer and install it just like you did with the Android one. And then go back to Unity and then find it in this Java development kit. And that's all you need to do. So then you want to make sure that you sign your application, which is going to be super important, which is what is going to allow whenever you actually upload the game, it's going to be able to find that, that specific version in the market and basically on the server. And it'll, it'll have a specific key assigned with your app. So anything that's using your app, any extra services that you have for tracking the data or ads, it will all be looking at that key which uh, identifies with your app only and not anyone else's. So let's go back to uh, player, go down to publishing settings. And then here you say key store. You're going to create a new key, browse key store. Let's just go to uh, desktop. And we're going to call this uh, test key dot key store. Create a password. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six characters. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unsigned. Now we're going to create a new key. And then alias is going to be called just test key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I, did I not make those match? Okay, there you go. First name, Andre S. Just unit is going to be unit. Not really a big deal. Say city. I'm not going to say what city I'm in. And then I'm in Maryland and then country codes US. We're going to create the key. So now we have to select the root SDK folder, which is in my app data. So let's go there. Uh, roaming. Uh, was it local? Might be in local. Let's go to Android SDK, select the folder. There we go. That's the same folder that we installed earlier. And now Sign this test key, put in the password, and bam, there you go. So now, whenever you upload into the Google Play Store, it'll be able to uh, find find your specific app. So once you pay the twenty or twenty five dollar fee to enable yourself as developer on Google Play Console, uh, you get to you can get to this this window and you actually have access to your dashboard and applications. I have a few apps that I've actually released in the store already, but we're gonna go here and click Create Application and then just call this test app and then you're going to click create and then here on the left side you're going to see app signing so click app signing and then this is where it says you should upload the APK so let's go to app releases go to production create a release and then here we're going to say Google Play app signing and we're going to click continue so now it has a Google and Play app signing. So when you upload the app, if you basically say, okay, so I can add an APK from a library that I already uploaded, or I can click browse files. And basically in Unity, we're gonna click file, build settings, build. And then let's say if we build an APK, test APK, we're gonna let that build and it's detecting the current SDK version. There you go, it found it. It's building it, and because I'm not building and running on a phone, it's not actually going to be looking for my device. But well, we're going to let it build, and once it finishes, if we upload that to the console, it's going to associate that with the, the signed key, and then it will forever have that key. So you have to make sure that you never delete that key that you created in Unity, otherwise you won't be able to update it 
online. You would have to create a whole new application. So it's really important that you keep that key in a safe spot on your computer. Have some backups if you need to. So it's finishing up building here, building assets, target package, all the standard process for creating the APK package. And almost done. And there we go. Go back to the uh, Google Play Console, browse files, test APKs right here. We're uploading it. So you can see here, I'm just gonna let it upload. Since this is the first upload, it should work just fine. Processing, and bam, there we go. So in Google Play app signing is still enabled. We have the first version, and now we can actually release it. So I think right now it's saved as a draft, yeah. And uh, that's when you go into the store listing, content rating, and all of it, it just, you know, it, it, that, that's all the extra details before you have to release it to the store, get some graphics and everything. But, you know, we just have a simple uh, test app screen, so it's not really a, a fun app I would want to download. But that is basically all it is to get it working. And if you have any errors or anything, let me know in the comments and I'll, and I'll give you some suggestions about how to fix them. But that is basically it. Uh, I'll probably be making a more in-depth uh, Android Studio tutorial about how to install that if you guys are having issues with that. There are guides on the Android website that are specific for each device, which is why I didn't cover it specifically in this video because each device has a, a slightly different approach to it. But I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.